Hi, this is Natalie Rydstrom here reporting for SBR Picks. Now, today we'll be giving an update on the NHL Eastern Conference standings, including teams that have been red hot, cashing in players' favour. Joining me now to weigh in on the NHL Eastern Conference and who's hot and who's not is sports writer Ross Benjamin. Ross, thank you for being here today. Thank you once again for having me, Natalie. Now, in your article today, you've taken the time to detail some teams that are hot NHL money line bets and others that aren't in the Eastern Conference. Now, let's start uh, two of the current hottest bets in the Eastern Conference. Uh, who are these two teams and why are, why are they the best uh, current betting values? Well, it would be shocking to a lot of people out there right now that the Buffalo Sabres are one of those two teams, although the Sabres are still a bottom feeder in the Eastern Conference. They've been a huge moneymaker over the last two weeks. Buffalo has gone 5-1 and one in their last six games, and they were a money line underdog of plus 143 or more in each of those six contests. By wagering $100 a game against the money line on the Sabres during this recent six-game stretch, you would have seen a profit of $972. The other team, the New York Islanders, they've gone a terrific 11-2 against the money line over their last 13 games. And despite that torrid run, they were installed as a money line underdog in six of those 13 games. And that's made them one of the best NHL betting values over the last three plus weeks. By wagering $100 a game on the Islanders against the money line over their last 13 games, you would have shown a profit of $1,176. Wow, that's fantastic, Ross. Now, you also made mention in your article today of one other team in the East that's been very hot, and uh, you're more or less attached a buy it, beware description to them. Uh, can you disclose that team and why you're a bit skeptical about advising NHL betters to continue to ride them? Well, that team is the Pittsburgh Penguins, and undoubtedly, they're one of the best teams, not only in the Eastern Conference, but all of the NHL. The Penguins have gone 13-4 and four against the money line over their last 17 games. However, they're often installed as a large money line favorite in those contests, which makes them a very difficult team to really consider being an NHL betting value. During that 13-4 and four run, they've closed as an underdog just one time, and that was at a mere price of plus 103 in a 4-1 to win at Minnesota. This hot streak has been great for the Penguins in the standings, but $100 betters have attained a profit of only $626. That makes them a high-risk and small-reward proposition. Mm -hmm. No, it certainly does. What about the teams in the Eastern Conference to stay away from right now? Well, let's start with the Columbus Blue Jackets. After getting off to a 4-2 and two start to the season, they've gone a miserable 2-15 and 15 against the money line since. And based on a $100 per game wager on the money line, NHL bettors would be down $1,237 during that 17-game tailspin. Also, the Philadelphia Flyers have gone 1-8 and eight versus the money line in their last nine games. And during that time, placing a $100 a game bet on the Flyers against the money line has resulted in a loss of $814. Okay, so that about wraps things up here. Uh, for a more in-depth review of what we've just talked about, do check out Ross's article posted on sportsbookreview.com. Ross Benjamin, thank you for joining us today. Always a pleasure. Thank you for having me, Natalie. The SBR Network offers free sports picks and game breakdowns. Big money free betting contests year-round. A real-time Vegas-style odds monitoring service and much more. So come see for yourself. To stay updated on SBR news and promotions, follow us on Twitter, Facebook and Google+. And do be sure to subscribe to the Sportsbook Review YouTube channel to catch all our daily sports shows.